basically a, what we call a fundamental scientist. I'm interested in basic questions that explain, you know, how and why life is the way it is. And my question I was asking is, how did insects get from being solitary? We just had mom and her, her babies, which doesn't represent much of a snack or a meal for anybody, to these huge colonies like honeybees where you have pounds and pounds of wonderful, delicious honey and baby bees to eat and ants and yellow jackets are similar situations. And my question was, how do I get there? And that's where the sting pain scale came in. So one of the defenses I was postulating was, boy, if you could really make somebody hurt, they're going to leave you alone. And so then you can evolve more complex societies and behaviors. Normally, the things that we get, there's you know, always the rogue exception, but almost 100% of them, they're, they're defending something. Usually, it's their, their hive, their colony. You know, you've trespassed into their territory, and 
you may not know it. That's the problem. You don't know it, but they do. And so they're they're kind of coming out and, and threatening you. And if you don't notice the threat, then they'll sting you. Kind of saying, you know, leave me and my queen and sisters and brothers alone. And they also use odors. So they use multimodal. They have this, if you've ever been stung, you probably aren't thinking about the olfaction. You're probably thinking about other things. But if you smell, it kind of smells like a combination of fingernail polish and a banana. It's got this kind of pungent odor. And that's, again, an alarm pheromone for both the bees and for you. It tells you you'd better get out of here.